I think that everyone is able to learn programming or coding. It doesn't matter if you are a kid or you do a different job. I'm going to show you that it's real. The goal of this video is to show you that everyone can be a programmer. And I'll show you 7 the most important things about programming. We will create a very simple application together. It can be useful for you, for your job, for your friends. Who know? And what kind of applications would you like to create? Think about it. We are going to write a simple calculator console application in our demo. This app will be written in c -sharp programming language, but these principles are the same for almost every other language. Ok, let's start. Step number one. Dev environment, IDE, source code editor. Every program contains some, let's say, text that has to be processed and the result is a running application. This text is source code and we need some editor to edit it. This is the same as needing some editor for photo editing or writing an email. The simplest way to try to write code is in the online dev environment. Step number two, create empty project and run it, run it, run it. <sighs> Typical project or solution contains all files like source code, resources, configurations and others. But we will use an online editor with just one file. That's perfectly fine for our case. It's like creating a new PowerPoint applications and trying to run the first slide, right? We are going to create the default console application. Go to .NET Fiddle.net, select c -sharp as a programming language, set project to console, choose the latest version of .NET and keep just necessary code. And finally, run it! The result is great, we are able to write text to the console without any effort, right? Step number three, variables. Variable is like a box for your stuff. It's something that helps us to memorize data for later usage. Example, you have to calculate the age of all people in the room. You have to ask each person about their age. In some cultures, it's rude to ask for the age. You have to add the current person's age to the previous result. You have to memorize it until you ask the next person for the age. In our app, we have to memorize following. First number, operator, like plus or minus, second number. Step number four, APIs and libraries of your platform. This is about searching information about functionalities in the documentations or other sources. For example, in our case, the user has to fill in some numbers and we have to find out how to enter data from the user into the console application. We are going to use console write line to tell instructions to our user and console read line for reading the user's input. Step number five, basic data types. Every data or value in the programming language has its own type. And for example, your name is text value, right? And the text is c -sharp string data type. A number without a decimal place can be an integer in the c -sharp world. In our case, we have to learn how to convert a string value to a number value. We will use the convert functionality. Step number six, operators, expressions, statements. Let's get rid of the definitions. What do we need? We need to ask simple questions in our code. We are going to ask if the operator is plus or not. Step number seven, iteration statements. Another ugly word, the last step is just for fun. We will draw a dashed line at the end of our very first application and learn how to use loops. Showtime, all stuff together. Yes, we did it! Our very first application is successfully done. And yes, you are right. You will not become a programmer after a few lines of code. But the rumors about magic and supernatural are gone. 
and if you find interest in this area, you will be able to become a programmer. Definitely. Step number 